This is absolutely fantastic. It's found in the book of Ephesians and it is all about describing how we can ask God to protect us because there's lots of things that we need protecting from. And this is a real spiritual idea of guarding us against anything that might cause us harm. And so it describes it like the armour of God, like a warrior in armour. And so we can all wear this armour. It is the helmet of salvation, knowing that we are saved, that God loves us. The helmet of salvation. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to put this down because it's going to keep falling over my eyes. And we also need to have the shield of faith. So we can have the shield of faith. So our faith in God enables us to defend us against anything that would be thrown at us. And we wear, have the sword of the spirit. We've got the sword of the spirit to be able to fight back. The Holy Spirit can protect us and God's word we can use to the Bible, verses from the Bible as well, like a sword to be able to fight back at anything that might come against us. We can say promises from the Bible, the sword of the spirit, and also the belt of truth. So we tie the belt of truth around our waist. And before I come to the last one, which we're gonna be looking at today, we need to have our feet shod with the gospel of peace. So like shoes, we shod our feet. So I'm gonna put these feet on. You're not gonna be able to see them once I've got them on, but I do have them on. You'll just have to, oh my word, something's hidden under my top. It's preventing me from putting on my fantastic <laughs> feet shod with the gospel, the good news of Jesus. So I've got my feet sorted. I have got my helmet of salvation. I've got my sword of the spirit. I've got my shield of faith. But today what we're gonna be looking at is the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness. Our breastplate of righteousness. That's what we're going to be looking at today. And I hope you like this line drawn upon the breastplate. The armour of God. I'm ready to be a warrior for the kingdom of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
everyone. Today we're going to be playing a version of Simon Says, but I'm going to call it L Says. So if you don't know the rules of this game, what you have to do is if I say L Says touch your nose, you're going to touch your nose. But if I don't say L Says at the start, I just say touch your nose, then you'd be out. Here's a practice. L Says put your right arm in the air. L Says put your right arm down. Put your right arm up. See, we don't do it that time. Okay, let's go. L says shut your eyes. L says pull a funny face. L says open your eyes. L says give me your biggest smile. Frown. Did I get you? Let's do another one. L says, be as big as a tree. Be as small as a mouse. L says, be as small as a mouse. L says, dance around the room. L says, stop. Dance again. Dance again. L says, turn around. Elsa, spin the other way. Spin again. Oh no. Okay, Elsa says, bounce like a rabbit. Elsa says, be as strong as a lion. Elsa says, slither like a snake. Walk like a dog. L says walk like a dog. L says fly like a bee. Buzz. 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 L says go to sleep. <laughs> Wake up. L says wake up. Well done boys and girls, have a great rest of your day, bye! Hello Kids Church! So today I'm going to be looking at the armour of God with you and we are going to be talking about the breastplate of righteousness. Okay so first off what is a breastplate? A breastplate is a piece of metal armour that goes over the chest like this. A breastplate is used to protect all of your important body parts, like your heart, your lungs and your stomach. If you were a Roman soldier and you weren't wearing a breastplate, it meant that if you were attacked, then all of your important body parts were exposed. But if you were wearing a breastplate, then all of your important parts were safe. And obviously, the most important thing that your armour protected was your heart. So, in the Bible, God says that we all have breastplates to protect our hearts too. Obviously, God's breastplate doesn't protect us from being in battle like the Romans one did. But instead, it protects us from God's enemy and even protects us from ourselves. Our heart is the most important part of our body because it is where Jesus comes to live when, he ask, when we ask him to be our friend. And it is often what we listen to to make decisions. So, God wants you to put on the breastplate of righteousness to protect your heart. Righteousness means being right with God and being God's friend. To be right with God means you need to know the truth about him and what Jesus did to you. God wants you to really believe it in your heart. We know that sometimes we do things wrong. And without God, you can never be righteous. But with God, you can be right with him. 
being right with God means having a clean heart. It means being honest and saying sorry for everything that you have done and will do wrong. And then being forgiven by God forever. So, before you are right with God, your heart looks like this. That's because it's full of all of the bad things that you have done. And only God can clean your heart and he can only do it if you say sorry to him. So you make things right with him. But God wants to clean our heart and make it like this red one. Then, once your heart is clean from God, you can put on your breastplate of righteousness and know that you are right with God. God will now protect your heart from the enemy by helping you to remember the truth that you are now righteous. Right with him and friends with God. That he will always love you for your mistakes. We don't make ourselves righteous by doing things. Only God makes us righteous by cleaning our hearts. And that is why we will wear the breastplate of righteousness with pride. Because God gave, gives us it. <laughs>